Uh, Coelho FPV, thank you for a $10 super chat. What's the best way to use beta flight or black box indicators to quantify individual motor vibration and noise? Uh, black box, uh, I don't know how you could tie down individual motor vibration, Coelho. You can look at the motor RPM, but you're not going to be able to tie the vibrations to a specific motor. The best way to, to see if a motor is off balance is to spin the motor on the bench and look at the gyro data. So what I would do, Coelho, is this. First, put the quadcopter down on like a, a, a towel so it doesn't vibrate against the desk because that can create resonance and vibrations that can throw your numbers off. Okay, so get like a, a, a fluffy bath towel or something and set it down on that. And then go into beta flight, go to the motors tab. And what you're going to do is you're going to look at the gyro trace and you're going to spin the motors one by one. Okay, raise the motor up to about 50% and then lower it back down and look at the RMS value for the gyro. Let me zoom in on this just a little. So over here on the gyro, we've got the X, Y, Z axis and RMS. Look at the RMS value. I mean, look at the X, Y, and Z as well. And if one of them, here's the max. This in parentheses is the max. And then we've got the RMS value, okay? That's the average, sort of the average for all of them. So we're going to look at the three axes and look at the max. And so what we'll do is we'll reset those. And then we'll spin motor number one up and down. And then we'll look at the max values and so forth. Um, these are going crazy because I'm literally holding it in my hand. It's making it go nuts. Um, and if one motor is significantly worse than the others, then that tells you uh, that something is, is up with that motor.